Happy Easter, Fort Worth Christian families. I hope and pray that this communication finds you healthy. I'm wishing you glad-heartedness as you approach both the sobering feelings of Good Friday and the joy of Easter morning. As you ponder the truth that Christ has risen, that He has risen indeed, I encourage you and am praying for you to allow that truth to permeate all of your thoughts and permeate your responses to the untold uncertainties we all face in this pandemic with its significant collateral damage. Christ has risen and granted us his love, his grace, his truth, and his mercy, and they are more than sufficient. One of my very good friends is head of school at over our 100-year-old boarding and day school in Long Island and he and his community are struggling through the ravages of COVID-19 in the New York area but they also have a significant Chinese student population many of whom are at serious risk of not being able to return to school next year so in the midst of this great suffering my friend sent me this text and I want to read it to you the text says They're predicting this week will be a rough week for America. It was a rough week for Jesus too. But just look at the outcome. So I found the simplicity so profound and its message moved my heart several degrees more towards gratitude. I hope it's a blessing to you and has a similar impact on you. I'm wishing each of you a sweet, reflective time together as a family as we break for our four-day Easter weekend. Know that I miss you and so appreciate each one of you. Godspeed. Before I sign off today, I wanted to tell you how thrilled I am that Dr. Misty Overman is going to be your new head of school. I have known Dr. Overman for over 15 years, and simply put, She is extraordinary. She is precisely the person to lead Fort Worth Christian to the next level. And so I wanted to introduce her to you and tell you that she is absolutely the right person for the right time. And you are going to be so blessed by her. And happy Easter. So a couple of years ago, my daughter and my son-in-law were uh, trying to have a baby and I was alone for Easter weekend. My husband was at a golf tournament and I had gone to my mom and dad's. And so I was with my sisters and their many grandchildren and just all the way home cried out to God. You know, I don't understand God why my daughter is not able to have a child. She, it's the greatest desire of her heart. She's a faithful Christian. It really was a time of reflection. You know, God, I understand you gave your only son and that he suffered horribly. And the resurrection was the, um, the greatest event of history. And I really tried to reflect on what that meant for me and how could I incorporate my own pain, if you will, into that story. How could I bring that story to, um, to mean something even more to me personally? So prayed all the way home, five hours. Lord, I, I thank you for your gift. I don't even have the words, and thankfully the Spirit was, was helping me with that. I walk into my home, my daughter calls me, and she says, Mom, I'm pregnant. I fell on the floor praising God, thanking God for for an answer, a pretty quick answer to a five hour long prayer. But just so Easter is special already, the resurrection, the story, the um, the gift. And now because I have my, my personal gift in that as well, it just means even that much more to me.